Yeah. Hi guys, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings. So welcome to Harsha Trainings. So now in this video, I am going to explain you about PX, PY, PZ properties and their usage. So many people, they ask me a question in the YouTube uh, video comments. What is the purpose of the property names uh, that are being prefixed with PX, PY, PZ? So these are the three properties which PAGA has in its uh, uh, rule base where these property names starts with px py pz for example px create date time it starts with px px update date time px create operator similarly py id that is work object id which starts with py id and pz ins key that is the instance handle which starts with pz what is the reason paga has come up with these three uh, prefixes uh, before the ovtp property names so to understand this, let's get onto our laptop and see this particular video. And before we go into the laptop, uh, guys, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and comment your questions. If you have any doubts, uh, any interview questions that you have, please post your interview questions uh, under this video in the comment section. And we are happy to answer those questions and give you the and deliver the good knowledge to you. Thank you so much. Let's get on to laptop now. So look at here. We are trying to understand about PX, PY, PZ properties. If I try to create any property starting with the name prefixed with PX or PY or PZ, let's see system is going to accept or not. These are the reserved keywords in PRPC. These keyword prefixes will be used between, sorry, before the rule names. Especially we are going to discuss about properties now. And here I'm going to create a property PX first name, something like this. And that is the identifier. Create and open. What does it say? This property name is reserved name. You should not create any rule. Not only property, it is applicable for everything. But here I am showing you an example of property. This is a reserved one. PX or PY or PZ starting. You are not allowed to create okay okay will not be able to create then what is the significance of this px py pz see in the html html when i say it is ui see if the property is a px property we cannot input the value through html forms uh, hold on pega classes and theory documents okay see here and these are the otp properties px identifies these properties are something special in pega and meaning that the value cannot be input by the user on an html form so you cannot use these px properties in user interface and you input it that is not possible that is not allowed restriction is that and py properties you take px create date time property into html you wanted to input no not allowed system will generate the value of px create date time based on when you create it should not be modified through ui means end users cannot manipulate the data okay now py properties are general properties like we are creating so many properties right similarly you can modify it anywhere you can use it like a regular property and pz property names properties are for system internal processing system internal processing users cannot manipulate the value of the pz properties for any reason system will use these properties for internal processing out of these properties pz properties the most important property that we need to learn is pz ins key pz ins key that is the primary key property in pega for every table the primary key column is pz ins key column property we are going to start looking at pz ins key property now everyone clear so px py pz px is we cannot input through html forms py you can use it like a regular normal properties that we are creating and working on you can manipulate the data anything you do pz you can never manipulate at all that system will use it for internal processing the important property in PZ properties is PZ INS key, which is primary key of PRPC tables. Everyone clear? Yes. 